Bonnie Ninku, Senior Certified ADHD Coach and Founder of Thrive with ADD. This training is to help you end those frustrating behavior patterns that keep you stuck. And it all starts with stories. I'd like to tell you a true story about a girl I knew in college who came from extremely difficult circumstances. She grew up in a very small town, raised in poverty and isolation. Her father died violently when she was young. Her mother was mentally ill and physically abusive. She was ridiculed and shunned by the kids in school. No one else in her class attended college. In fact, many of the girls dropped out before graduating high school. It would have been so easy for her to do what was expected, stay uneducated, get pregnant, and remain in poverty. She would have had a very good excuse. The most likely story for a girl like her would have been no self-esteem, early pregnancy, on welfare. Too bad she had no chances in life. But this girl was not willing to live the story that had been written for her. Despite no encouragement or role models, she learned how to apply to college, got financial aid, earned a scholarship, and worked her way through. It was a hard road, but she graduated college and became a journalist. Her life became a success story about her grit and determination to succeed against all odds. Your life doesn't have to be that dramatic to get stuck in a story. Your story can be a pattern of beliefs that you unconsciously use to guide your actions. Those beliefs can move you forward or they can hold you back. As an ADHD coach, I have to be adept at hearing my clients' stories even when they don't realize they have them. For some, it shows up as a constant theme of assumptions or fears that come out in many different situations. I'll look like an idiot if I ask a question. I'm afraid I'll hurt or upset someone if I tell them my needs. I don't want to call and interrupt them if someone doesn't answer to email. Living with these kinds of thoughts will keep you feeling insecure, which is too bad. But it gets worse when you allow your story to dictate your actions and the course of your life. With the traits of ADD or ADHD, there are a multitude of negative stories that people use to hold themselves prisoner. Here are just a few. I can't start my own business because I'm so bad at time management. I shouldn't try to write a book because I never finish anything. I can't take a class on managing my finances because I won't keep up with the reading. I shouldn't get married because my ADD would make me a terrible mate. I can't tell my children to put their clothes away because, well, with my habits, that would make me a hypocrite. The thing is, with ADD-type assumptions like these, it's the story that's keeping you down much more than the problem itself. Every one of these examples involves a tendency or habit that can be changed, or a skill that can be learned, or a barrier that can be gotten around. It has to start with determination to change the story rather than cling to the story. And that takes guts, because it's so much easier to live in the story. After all, the story fits in with your belief system, one that you've probably held for years it's safe. When you push yourself out of the story, at the very least, you're looking at having to learn a new skill or change a way of thinking or a habit. It's funny that a big stereotype of people with ADD or ADHD is that we're risk takers. It's true that many of us take risks. We may love extreme sports or wait until the last minute to get gas or barely make it to the airport on time. But the same people that take those kinds of risks without blinking will put up with just about anything to avoid the risk of potentially being bored for 15 minutes or the risk of feeling frustrated that they don't master a new skill on the first try. When you decide to change your story and replace it with one that has a more rewarding outcome, 
you should know going in that you will have moments of discomfort, frustration, boredom, or self-doubt. It can feel really scary, especially for perfectionists. It will probably take several tries to get new strategies right. The bottom line is, changing the story is not comfortable. And if you wait for motivation to change it, well, whoever feels motivated to feel uncomfortable. But there is good news. Changing your thinking doesn't have to be hard work. When you get insight into your real answers, it can happen in an instant. In my next video, I'll show you how a simple three-letter word can help start your insight process to get you the answers you need. And register now for the free live webinar coming up where I'll show you how to take a deeper dive into reaching those solutions that will really work for you. I'm Bonnie Minku, and I'll see you soon in video two.